listing is at $12. It's the Prime TV stakes. Just before we take you to the track, we'll have a quick look at uh, the Maryborough market for the punters that are having a bet on the trots. And five, truck man, the Cherokee and Clontarf chip. And a man who's had a long association with the Prime TV stakes, he's called quite a few of them over the years, is Kim Stewart, and he's with us now with the call of the 98 Prime Television stakes. Yes, Matthew, and this is the 10th year of the running of the Prime Television stakes, and I've been on hand for them all. Ab initio moves up now, and it just keeps going from strength to strength. Now South Bend is uh, out of line, as is Greenbacks, and also Bay Tights. Glenn Killen replacing Mal Fitzgerald on Bay Tights. Mal unfortunately suffered an accident earlier in the week. Now Greenbacks goes in, and we await only on South Bend to take up his position on the outside of the field with Bay Tights. And uh, these two will be moving forward shortly. Shane Dye's only ride here for the, uh, for the day, South Bend. Now, should South Bend win, the Variety Club of Australia will receive 50% of the prize money from the Lone Star Syndicate. And the Variety Club of America will also receive 50% of the prize money. So all the prize money should South Bend win is going to the Variety Club of Australia to assist underprivileged children. A marvellous gesture by the Lone Star Syndicate. They do it. Each time their horses go round, they, they donate 50% of the prize money. Bob LaPointe and his crew, I think they have about 55 horses in work. And uh, it certainly is a marvellous gesture. Of course, this race beaming into the USA. And South Bend is a community in which the Lone Star have a restaurant. And there's a great deal of interest over there today. Now, Bay Tights will be the last one to link up. Got over $300,000 in the wind pool alone here. On this, the 1998 $150,000 prime television stakes, <clears throat> and they're just about set. 1,400 metres is the journey, they're ready to go. There's the light, they stand, they're off. They're racing in the prime for 1998, and one of the first ones out was Orleans. Wiggly Woo is showing pace in the early stages, but can't cross either. Matty Zappel is up into a prominent spot, and so too is shifting. Just in behind them, then coming on fairly well. Uh, at the head of the others was Mobile Slipper, getting back a bit, then Orleans, and going around the outside is Bay Tights. Well back then came Crafty Midfield. They were followed by Brigadier Forever. Back on the inside fence is Crimson Pilot. A long break in the field, then came Buckridge. Next to last is South Bend, and last of all in a strung out affair is Silver Kate. Now going to the front is Greenbacks at the 800 metre mark and he shows out by a length and three quarters on Bay Tights over from the outside gate. In third spot on the outside is Wiggly Woo. Shifting is nicely placed on the inside. They were followed at the head of the others then by Bozeman. He can't get on the track around the outside of Buckridge there in the centre. Matty Zappel is in that bunch as well, followed further back by Crafty improving around the outside. Orleans has lost ground from the outset. Brigadier Forever up on the inside. There goes Crimson Pilot with Abinicio around the outside, followed further back then by Grush shifting, getting well out of its ground, and so too back there was Silver Kate, and also Buckridge into the straight they go, and in the centre there, Greenbacks has got the lead, coming out after it now is shifting, and South Bend is getting up on the inside, he's weaving a passage, Shane Dye on the top weight, he's up on the outside of Bay Tights, and he goes to the lead now on South Bend, Crafty down the outside, South Bend and Crafty, but a marvellous ride, and the money goes to the Variety Club in the prime of 1998, a brilliant ride on South Bend, gets him home, Crafty second, third over the line, then was shifting, they were followed in at the head of the others, then by Buckridge, followed by Brigadier Forever. The next one over the line then was Greenbacks, followed in by Crimson Pilot. The next one, Bozeman, well back Bay Tights. Silver Kate was there and further out on the track then came Crimson Pilot. The next one, Matty Zappel from Orleans. Well back Ab Initio, and last of all in the prime was Wiggly Woo. Wow, well, they don't come any better than that. Number one, South Bend. He was back towards the tail of the field on straightening. And Shane Dye weaved a passage. It was reminiscent of the North's win last year when ridden by Darren Biedman. And that master jockey, Shane Dye, found a way through on number one South Bend. And he has scored in the prime of 1988 in brilliant fashion. Number two, Crafty, did get second, ridden by Larry Cassidy, given every chance. He took off at the uh, 600 metre mark. He was there on the point of the home corner. He was ready to pounce. And number 14 gets third. That was shifting ridden by Lenny Beasley. On the New South Wales tote, South Bend should pay 580 and 230, Crafty 150, shifting 380. The Quinella should pay 550 in the exacta. Good call, Kim, that uh, unfortunately we have to leave it there, but certainly a fantastic performance by South Bend and, uh, gee, coming from a long way back there, but never leaving the fence, RSDI. There's another feature win for him. Now, they're uh, calling them right up to their marks at Maryborough. That's where we have to go for the seventh and here's Rick.